Nais ko maging bahagi ng isang adhikain At maging isa sa gawaing makajosa at masaya Paglilingkod sa Diyos at kapwa Sa ikalawang parokya ng Pasay Kaisa ng Birheng Maria Our Lady of Sorrows Pagpapala mong lubos Sa krus ni Kristo Jesus Na iyong anak kami tinubos Sa patubay ng Espiritu Banal sa aming buhay At kain ng Maria Ang bagong Eva na mapagkalinga Viva! Let us pray, the angels. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Together, glory, glory be to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us include in our prayers for healing and good health of Father Ramon Manalo, SSP, Father Arthur Palisada, SSP, Father Joel Baguna, SSP, Father Joseph Abilio, SSP, Father Armand Tangi, SSP, Father Pete Barisoro, SSP, Father Rasti de la Peña, SSP, Manahan Peruel, Louis and Lourdes Clem, Patrice Alcese, Letlet Salcedo. Special intentions of Dominador Guzman Sr., Nancy Tan and family, Peruel, De La Peña, Santos Sildes, Alegre families, Alay Sadambana contributors, Marisa Boitis, Peli Kiambao and Kiambao Security, Mr. and Mrs. Eduardo Kodaira, Jello and Elaine, Paolo, Marlo, Orlando, Jean Flora, Patricia Ann Espulgar, Maria Janeline Peralta. For the eternal repose for the soul of the following, Carmelita Guzman, Lutgarda Nerlinda, Angelica Nestelita, Alfonso and Blandina, Gregorio, Roll Jr. and Corazon, Brother Dominic Ejida SSP, Carlos Beher, Rogelio Beher, Anthony Dullier, Marie Michiko Yuda, Thelma Dizon, Edna Flora and Winston Flora, Lolita Baya, Jose Morales, Sara Morales, Jan Lawrence Dogondong, Ngo Ang Si, Patrocinio Mendoza, Maribeth Cobangbang, Mario Boitis, Josefina Ramirez, Rogelio Galsim, Ami Lucerano, Norma Manalang, and all souls in purgatory.
Magandang umaga po mga kasambuhay, mga kaparokya. Ialay po natin mula sa main altar ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish Pasay City, ang Santa Misa, para sa iba't ibang intentions ng mga parokyano, devoted benefactors ng Our Lady of Sorrows. Ang Misa ay aalay ng mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Sa oras na ito, ang Mass Presider ay si Reverend Father Boy Castor Jr. SSP. Tayo po ay makisa at ibigay ang sandaling ito kay Jesus sa banal na Eucharistia. The waves of death rose about me. The pains of the netherworld surrounded me. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and from His holy temple, He heard my voice. The Lord Jesus has called and gathered us together to celebrate this Eucharist in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, good morning. Good morning, Father. Uh, we celebrate this Eucharist on this Saturday of the fourth week of Lent. And we bring before the Lord Jesus to the intercession of our Mother Mary, Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta, and Queen of Apostles, all the intentions we have just announced. And uh, to these, uh, let me add uh, our own uh, personal family, uh, work, apostolic, uh, commu and community concerns and needs. And um, let me also... Um, bring the special intentions and thanksgiving of uh, uh, June Montes as he thanks the Lord for the gift of life and celebrates his birthday. The intentions and thanksgiving of uh, uh, Carlos Ailis and Carlong Choco, William Kuunjin, Carlos Gonzalez, Maria Luisa, uh, Marian and Bongelo Figueroa, the recent Christ Catholic community members and their families the Lara and Rojas families and the families of Maxima Villareyes, Briggs and Juan Escaño, Dr. Hill and Baby Villa Cordemon and Cecil Clemente, Mark and Uti Juanson and Charlie and Elsie Garcia. We continue to pray for uh, the healing <coughs> and uh, good health of the priests and brothers and, and priests and brothers of the site of St. Paul in the Philippines and Macau. We also pray for the healing and good health of uh, Father uh, Doji Asuncion and uh, Father Alan of uh, Fatima Makati, uh, as well as Nestor Mercado, Remy, uh, Remy Marine, Leonor Kent, Lani Bartusilio, Albert Aquino, Rolando Alarva, Nerissa Sarmiento, Hazel Enriquez, Jimmy Laguesma, Socorro Abad, Nanay Nena Iqban, um, uh, Dominador Guzman, Senior Madet Guzman, Teresita de Guzman, Marietta Secchio, Danny Wang, and Charles Eriga, um, Reggie Asteria Reyes, Maris Kalinap, Maria Smita Salcedo, Lucia Casin, uh, Perla Saldajeno, Dong and Joy Rojas, uh, Lara, Julio Carlos Rojas, Lara, Joy La Rosa, Ando, Che Aniceto, Tess Laguesma, and Bernard Laguesma. We continue to pray for the, heal for the repose of the souls of the priests, brothers, sisters, and lay members of the Pauline family, as well as the, the deceased members of the Sisters of Lates of the Holy Spirit. Um, Special, and uh, we pray in a special way for Brother Dominic Ejida, Father Joven Lagdamen, Rogelio and Carlos Villardo Bihel, Bihel, John, Lo, uh, John Lawrence Tagundong, Erlinda Panisales Yanson, Andrea Devera, Evelyn Reyes, 
Joelan Sanas, Virginia Tianxing, Narcisa Ye Abugho, the deceased members of the Uyanong Choco families, um, Carmelita Guzman, Roland, Ricardo Guzman Sr., Manuel Recto, Anita Aban, Lourdes Ladao Figueres, Camilo Laro Reyes, Ricky Villa Reyes, Ben Reyes, Amor Balbon, Teodora Tiong Sunding Lasan, Julius Soriano, um, the deceased members of the Tamisen, Tawakol de Tunalgo, Barbas Ataasan, Muhal Dimson and Moteleja families, um, Rosalina Marquez, Medina Tapang, Jumedis Tanyesa, Pacifica Salcedo, Doris Bautista, Melissa Medina, Tui Hernandez, and Espiritu Santos, Balasita. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright. For without your grace, we cannot find favor in your sight. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me at the time you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just and because of the innocence that is mine, that the malice of the wicked Come to an end, but sustain the just. O searcher of heart and soul, O just God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Please all stand to honor the gospel. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield the harvest through perseverance. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some in the crowd who heard his words of Jesus said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But others said, The Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say 
that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived. So a division occurred in the crowd because of Jesus. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid his hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees who asked them, What did you bring? Why did you not bring him in? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him, to Jesus earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hear, uh, hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Si Noel ay nakakabata kong kapatid na lalaki, isang nurse. Siyang bunso namin sa pamilya at uh, pumunta siya sa Estados Unidos taon 1983, 41 years ago. Ang una trabaho bilang nurse ay sa Harlem Medical Center, New York City. Ikinuwento niya na ang na uh, uh, ikinuwento niya sa akin ang kanyang unang mga araw noon. Kasama niya at ang kanyang girlfriend na naging asawa niya later at anim pang nurses na mga Pinoy. Lahat ne-recruit ng isang team of nurses from uh, from uh, Harlem Medical Center dito sa dito sa Pilipinas. Silang walo ang unang mga Filipino nurses sa hospital na yon ng Harlem. Um, noon na uh, noon pa man, alam na ng mga Pinoy ang uh, Harlem ay isang enclave ng mga ng mga uh, itim mga negroes mga uh, ta ang minsan tawag nila ay egot takot silang maglakad na mag nag-iisa kahit sa araw at ang haling tapat pagkatanggap nila ng kanilang first paycheck sabay-sabay silang walo na nagpunta sa bangko upang i-encas ang mga paychecks na ito. Nangyari ito dahil bago pa man umalis sa Pilipinas ang mga nurses na ito, um, may mga pangit na silang imahe tungkol sa mga itim, black people, at ang kanilang neighborhood and Harlem was one. Fortunately, the reality soon changed those false pictures. Ang kapatid ko at ang kanyang asawa ay nagtrabaho sa Harlem Medical Center ng walong taon at nagkaroon ng maraming kaibigang itim bago sila lumipat sa Columbia Presbyterian Hospital sa New York City pa rin. This is what prejudice does. Sa Ebanghelyo, sinasabing iba-iba ang pagkakilala ng mga tao kay Jesus. Bagamat may mga nais maniwala na siya ang hinihintay na Mesiyas, the Christ, hindi nila siya matanggap sapagat, siya, sapagat nanggagaling siya sa Galileo. 
May mga kawal na bantay sa templo ang pinadala upang dakpin si Jesus. Maaring may prejudice rin ang mga ito, subalit na natiling bukas ang kanilang isip at puso. Hindi nila inaresto si Jesus dahil ayon sa kanila wala pa silang narinig na nagsalitang katulad ni Jesus. Humanga sila sa pagsasalita ni Jesus ng may kapangyarihan. Ang sagot ng mga pareseyo sa kanila, kayo man ba'y nalin lang din? Mayroon bang pinuno o pareseyo ang naniniwala sa kanya? Wala. Mga tao lamang na walang nalalaman sa kautusan ang naniniwala sa kanya. Mga sinumpa. Si Nicodemo ay isang pariseyo at pinuno ng mga Hudyo o miyembro ng Sanhedrin. Subalit, maaring ang kanyang prejudice ay natinag noong gabing siya ay nakipagkita kay Jesus. Sumalungat siya sa nais gawin ng kanyang mga kapwa pariseyo. Tinanong niya, labag sa ating kautusan na hatulan ng isang tao nang di muna siya nililitis at inaalam kung ano ang kanyang ginawa. Hindi ba? At sagot nila sa kanya, Ikay ba'y tagagalilea rin? Magsaliksik at makikita mo na walang propetang magmumula sa Galilea. Nakaugalian ng mga pariseyo na lagyan ng limitasyon ang Diyos pagdating sa relasyon nila sa kanya. Kaya marami silang palagay sa kung ano ang dapat at di dapat gawin ng Diyos sa kanilang buhay. Ngunit mga kapatid, ang Diyos ay Diyos. Walang limitasyon, walang hangganan. Siya ay Diyos na hindi hindi maikakahon sabagat isa siyang Diyos ng mga sorpresa. Our God is a God of surprises. Laging bago sa ang lahat sa Kanya. At sa Kanya nagkakatotoo ang hinding-hindi inaasahan ng tao. Sino nga ba, naman ang mag-aakalang magiging tao siya at isang hamak na karpentero pa at galing sa Galilea? Sa ang lupalog ba ng Israel yun? Yun na nga, sa ang lupalog ba? Kaya naman siya ay tinanggihan ng mga pulong saserdote at mga pariseyo na nag-aakalang may papa, uh, uh, may mamapa nila ang bawat hakbang at kilos ng Diyos. Maliban po rito, sa kapanahunan ni Jesus, ang batas na mahudyo, ang batayan ng kanilang pagiging bayan ng Diyos. Sa batas na ito, nakasentro ang ang lahat nilang gawain at mula sa pagtupad sa mga katuusang nakapaloob sa batas, naniniwala silang makakamit nila ang kaligtasan. Sa ganitong pananaw, nagiging gawa ng tao ang pagliligtas na parabang pagliligtas sa sarili. Kaya naman itinuturing nilang isinumpa ang sinumang walang alam sa batas. Sa pagdating ni Jesus, Ipinahayag niya ang tunay na kahulugan ng pagliligtas ng Diyos. Hindi ito gawa ng tao, kundi regalo, kaloob ng Diyos, grace. At walang ibang magagawa ang tao, kundi tanggapin at paunlakan ang alok na ito sa Kanya ng Diyos. Hindi natin maiiligtas ang ating sarili. One of the hardest spiritual tasks is to live without prejudice. Sometimes we are not even aware how deeply rooted our prejudices are. We may think that we relate well to people who are different from us in color, religion, sexual orientation, or lifestyle as equals. But in concrete circumstances, our spontaneous thoughts, our uncensored words, Our knee-jerk reactions often reveal our prejudices that are still there. Strangers, people different from us, 
stir up fear, discomfort, suspicion, and hostility. They make us lose our sense of security just by being other. Only when we fully claim that God loves us in an unconditional way and look at those persons, those other persons as equally loved by God, can we begin to discover that the great variety in humanity is an expression of the immense richness of God's heart. Then the need to, preju to prejudge people can gradually disappear. Let us ask Jesus to make us know our prejudices and help us to overcome them. Huwag nating kalimutan ang paalaala ni Jesus sa atin sa Sermon on the Mount in the Gospel of Matthew. Maging mahabagin kayo gaya ng inyong ama. Huwag kayong humatol at hindi kayo hahatul ng Diyos. Huwag kayong magparusa at hindi kayo paparusahan ng Diyos. Magpatawad kayo sa inyong kapwa at patatawarin kayo ng Diyos. At ang ito palang sinabi ay galing sa sa Ebanghelyo ni San Lucas. Magbigay kayo at bibigyan kayo ng Diyos hustong takal, siksik, liglig at umaapaw ang ibibigay sa inyo. Sabagat ang takalang ginagamit ninyo sa iba ay siya ring gagamitin ng Diyos sa inyo. Amen. Please all stand. Saturday is our devotional day to Mary, Queen of Apostles. We pray, Glorious Father, let us honor you today as we honor the sublime privilege you bestowed on Mother Mary, Queen of Heaven and of Earth, your favored daughter, Sublime Mother of your Son, Jesus, and illustrious spouse of the Holy Spirit. We pray, Father, glorify your name. Father, Father glorify, glorify your name. name. True Mary, you gave us the eternal word. May the church forever be a pillar and voice of truth. May the Pope, the bishops and priests, teachers, preachers, and writers always refer to uncreated wisdom that comes from you. We pray. Father, Father glorify Lord, your name. name. True Mary, we have the living tabernacle of Jesus. May all who work and suffer in various missions and apostolates for love of Jesus and all humanity ever increase in numbers, be resplendent in their sanctity of life, and integrity of morals, and be solid in their faith and piety. We pray. Father, Father glorify, glorify your, your name. name. True Mary, at the foot of the cross and in the cenacle, you give us a mother and comforter in the church for us. May we entrust our lives totally to you. Amid our passions and struggles, do not permit us to fall. We dedicate to you every morning and every day. Let us sleep well under your gaze at night. We pray. Father, Father glorify, glorify your, your name. name. True Mary, you have given us the help of Christians, the refuge of sinners, and the comforter of the afflicted. May sinners be converted. May the sick find healing. May working persons and migrants find protection we pray father, father glorify, glorify your name true mary you have given us the star of the sea the star of evangelization bless the health and works of all priests religious and lay missionaries in asia africa oceania europe and the americas give them the gift to touch and open hearts and minds we pray 
Father, glorify your name. In silence, we pray for our personal and community intentions. And for these intentions, we pray. Father, glorify your name. Our Father, you have sent us as apostles in the name of your Son. You have assigned us our missions in life. In Mary, Queen of Apostles, you have given us a powerful intercessor whose humble prayers are irresistible to your heart. With their merits in the name of her Son, Jesus, hear us forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for at your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, may sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Lord, with these oblations you receive from our hands. And even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to turn to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults. Raise up our minds and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. To him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many with the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, by the for by our cross, cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Cardinal Archbishop, all missionaries, all religious, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, O Lord, especially Brother Dominic Ihida, Father Juben Lagdamin, Dennis Tamisin, John Lawrence Dagungdong, Nelson Lim, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially the deceased members of the Pauline family, the deceased members of the Oblates of the Holy Spirit sisters, Anita Aban, Carmelita Galdunis Guzman, Ricardo Guzman Sr., Anthony Uson, Manuel Recto, Jorge Landoy, Gloria Landoy, Rimus Landoy, Luisa Kapinpoyan, Antonio Layag Sr., Remigio Linterna, and Alan Jasper. Feliciano Marquez Sr., Rosalina Marquez, Lutgardo and Erlinda de la Peña, Medina Tapang, Pedro Magbanua, Elsie Mantaring, and Elsie Corazon, Hipolito, Marcelino, Carlos and Rogelio Beher, Francisco and Ipipanya Beher, Marlon Bilardo, Roberto Bandola, Rodolfo Riamelio, Robert Balbirama and uh, Marilo Ocampo, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mother Dolorosa de la Pieta, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, protector of the Universal Church, with Peter, James, and John, and Andrew, and Paul, and all the blessed apostles, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, St. Pedro Calungsod, Blessed James Alberione, Blessed Timothy Giacardo, and Blessed Ellen Aguera, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, is at your apostles' peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world have mercy, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, he is our life and resurrection. Blessed are we who are called to receive him in this banquet of eternal life. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. By the precious blood of Christ, the blood of a spotless and unblemished lamb, we have been redeemed. For those who cannot receive the Holy Communion, especially the sick and the OFWs, join us in praying the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Mamayang gabi na po ang kumpisalang bayan pagkatapos ng 6 p.m. Mass. Ang ating pong Sunday regular confession schedule, 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m., 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Bandana funds, ongoing projects, tuloy-tuloy po ang paggawa natin sa mga facilities ng parokya, ang 200-seater assembly formation hall, ay nangangailangan po ng roofing at ceiling materials, floor tiles, electrical installation para sa lights, ceiling fans, at sound system. Gayun din ang restoration ng Senyor Nazareno ng OLSP. Inaayos po ngayon ang enkarna at mukha, ng mukha at kamay, isang bagong stainless na karoza, bagong krus, bagong damit, at metal na koronang tinik at sinturon ng matandang imahen. Pakibigay po ang inyong donations at love offerings sa parish office bukas araw-araw, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at humingi po ng acknowledgement receipt. Pwede rin magdeposito sa Metro Bank account or Lady of Soros Parish checking account number 2917-2918-22793. Pakisend sa Messenger account or Lady of Parish ang screenshot ng inyong deposit slip. Invitation to serve sa mga nais magsakristan dapat po 10 years old pataas, nakapag-first communion na. Sa mga nais maging lectors at commentators, 16 years old pataas, nakabihasa sa pagbabasa sa English at Filipino. Sa mga nais maging ministers of Holy Communion, pag-submit ang baptismal at confirmation certificates Kung kasal na, pakisubmit ang Certificate of Marriage. At para po sa lahat, makipag sa parish office, pakiiwan ang buong pangalan at contact number. Maraming salamat po. Please, Alston. Uh, final thought from Blessed Giacomo Alberione, founder of the Pauline family. It could be that one has a very high office, and it could be that another has a very low office, but it is not important at all. What matters is the commitment, the love of God that one puts oneself into things. Uh, who, uh, but, uh, who wants to do them only for him in simplicity and at the same time employing whatever strength there is. All the priests will now give the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look upon your servants and handmaids, O Lord, and in your goodness protect with heavenly assistance those who trust in your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. We have celebrated the Eucharist. Let's go in the peace, the joy, and the love of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Thanks be to God. Mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Sorrows at B. Harrison, Pasay City, mula sa mga pare ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya, mula sa Sambuhay TV Unit ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, salamat po. God bless you. Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta cares for